Good evening. Tonight we have a uh, <clears throat> Tempo 1 HF Trans Fever, uh, which is also known as the uh, Yesu FT200. Uh, mostly tube based. There are some transistors in it. And uh, I've already taken the cover off. The radio is just uh, incredibly dirty inside. Lots of sawdust, cobwebs, and uh, it appears that maybe the person who owned this radio at some point was a smoker because there is just a lot of smelly crud on the chassis. So, probably going to have to end up uh, cleaning all the tubes, cleaning the chassis, cleaning the circuit boards. Um, I'm going to be powering this uh, radio up on a Variac sometime in the next few days. I have the uh, matching power supply and speaker for this unit. Um, I do not have the interconnect cable, but uh, I know somebody who's going to loan me the interconnect cable. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, as far as this radio goes, uh, it's the older silver face model. And uh, it's fairly beat up. Uh, some of the information is missing. Somebody's written on the front of it with pencil, apparently marked some of the positions of the controls. I guess they usually operated uh, same frequency, same band uh, pretty frequently. So, uh, looking at uh, this radio on the bottom side, see that there's quite a lot of uh, components in here, a lot of carbon comp resistors. Uh, I'm thinking this is one of the older capacitors in the unit, but there are also uh, newer looking capacitors. I don't know if these are factory or if somebody's replaced them at some point. Uh, so we'll have to see that. I also see <clears throat> a gimmick capacitor here, which is uh, where you take two wires uh, that are insulated and uh, twist them together to give a little bit of capacitance. I don't know if that's factory or not. Uh, it does look like someone has been soldering inside this radio at some point, so it's entirely possible. Also, this relay uh, looks like it's been kind of botched in. Uh, it's attached with double-sided stick tape. And I'm uh, not sure if that is factory or not. I also see electrical tape here, so I don't know if maybe this wire's been spliced or they put electrical tape on it to keep it from shorting out on the chassis. Ah, it's, it's been spliced, of course. Okay, no shrink wrap. And, well, hard to tell on that one. They may have nicked it with the cover when they were reinstalling the cover at some point because it is right there. On the back of the radio, we have the uh, standard SR239 socket. Uh, this is the connection that goes to the uh, external power supply, and the QA is broken off on it. Uh, this is the accessory port. It has the connector that goes with it, the matching connector, and then also the external VFO uh, with the matching connector plugged into it. Uh, bias adjust, sensitivity adjust, zero adjust carrier, Relay sense, delay, anti-trip, uh, Vox gain. So, this should be an interesting radio to get into. The other thing that I'm noticing is uh, this capacitor here appears to have the uh, capacitor grunge, capacitor cancer, whatever you want to call it. It, it looks like it's coming apart. And uh, from watching uh, some other videos on YouTube, uh, I've learned that this is a big issue, so we're going to end up having to replace that capacitor as well. Uh, standard looking bulbs. The uh, VFO movement seems to work just fine. And uh, the other controls on the unit appear to be working as well. Doesn't seem like anything is uh, stuck. Knob is broken on the cowl adjustment. Seems pretty good. That capacitor is very dirty. It's going to need to be cleaned. Okay, one other thing that I see here is uh, the gears at the front of the PA compartment. Uh, they're nylon and they're on a metal hub. That's something to watch for on older equipment. Uh, as the nylon ages, it shrinks just slightly, but it's enough in a lot of cases to uh, crack the gear and uh, you'll either need to uh, make an attempt to save that gear or get another gear made for it. Uh, it's entirely possible it's done on the internet. In fact, I have a uh, 
Tempo 2020, which is also a unit in 2020. And in that radio, there is, a, I believe, five or six gears. On the two units I have, all of the gears are cracked. They all need to be replaced. Uh, it's something I'm going to be looking at doing in the future. So that's definitely on the list. Uh, let's go ahead and open the PA compartment and see what we have there. One seems to have been cross-threaded at some point. That will probably be a fun repair. This one doesn't uh, seem to really be into much of anything. Probably need to replace these screws with something different when I do the rework on this unit. Uh, of course, that's after I bring it up on Variac. I want to know whether or not it has a problem before I start working on it because uh, it may be a basket case. It may already have issues. And uh, if I start replacing parts before I know what's wrong, I could end up in a situation where uh, I don't know whether I cost it or not. So, in the PA compartment, uh, capacitor, the big choke, uh, lots of sawdust everywhere. Two tubes in the output final. And uh, let me look here and see what they are. Schematic is uh, something that you can easily find online for these units. I found this one just by typing in Tempo 1 Schematic, although I think I ended up on a page for the FT200. Uh, same radio. So, uh, easy to find. Service manual, operator's manual, power supply manual, everything is available. 6JS6A uh, is what's in the transmitter PA. So, uh, I'd imagine those are probably hard to come by. My Tempo 2020 has uh, 6146 tubes in it, a pair of those. And uh, those are a little bit hard to find as well. Um, I have a few spares, uh, new old stock and uh, pulls. So, it uh, looks like we're uh, going to get involved on this one. I'd imagine this will probably be uh, at least three videos, maybe four videos. Uh, and that's probably fairly light on the content. But uh, once I borrow the power supply interface cable, I'll be able to uh, uh, get a better feel for what's going on, and um, we'll see how many videos this ends up being. But uh, a lot of the reason I'm doing this is that to help that friend. He just got his Tempo 1, and uh, he's uh, kind of looking for some guidance on uh, how to power it up on Variac, how to check it out, uh, how to make sure everything's working right on it. And then uh, if some repairs needed, where to go uh, with regard to that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, next video, of course, will be a little bit longer because it'll be uh, repair and testing. So uh, I hope everybody has a great evening, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.